Hey everybody, it's Dave from Record LA. This goes out to all you Superior Drummer users. A lot of people want to know how do I get reverb on my snare using Reaper and Superior Drummer. Uh, a lot of people like to mix and use their built-in EQ and compressors, including myself. But a lot of times uh, I might want to put like a longer reverb on the snare. If I don't want to use the stock room sounds in uh, within the plugin. So here we go. We're going to start a new track. And we want to put Superior Drummer on here. So we click on the effects. And I'm going to use the VST version. All right, this, uh, this is loading just a custom and vintage kit. I'm going to change that to uh, the avatar kit. All right. Now, the other thing I want to do in here is click on this little button right up here. And right now, I only have two outputs. I want to have at least four. Once again, keeping it simple. Close that guy. All right. Now we're over here on our drum track. And we hear nothing yet until we give it a MIDI input. In, this, in my case, this is my MIDI keyboard right here, channel one. And uh, I want to be able to hear that. Okay, so I could go to town and start recording now, no problem. But I'm not going to have any reverb. So I want to add a reverb channel. So we're going to add one more channel. This is going to be my reverb. Now just to keep things sort of organized, I'm going to label this SD. And we'll label this verb. Okay, and uh, I'm going to actually add a verb on here, so it'll be ready to go. So click on that. I'm going to use the stock Reaper verb, which is fine for this demonstration, reverberate. And I'll make one more adjustment. I'm going to turn dry all the way down. I'm going to keep it 100% wet around there. And uh, I don't want to hear any dry snare. I just want to hear this is going to be completely wet. And I'll make this room a little bigger so we actually hear something. And we'll close that up. Okay, now, still nothing, right? We're going to change that. We're going to go to the mixer here, and the whole idea is I want to send just some of the snare to the reverb channel. So how do I get there? Well, I'm just going to keep this simple now and use one of these drums. You can get the idea, and you can do this to any drum you want. I'm going to pick the snare drum top, go up to here where it says bus send, and choose bus one and two. And that's already turned up. That's good. Close that. We're going to go over here where the bus one and two where it shows up. You notice when I play the snare, it's got a little level now. It's going into that channel because we're sending a little bit of it to there. All right. Now, right now, the output for that is none. So we want to change that, and we're going to send that to output three and four. If I go one and two, it's just going to go out of the exact same channel it is now, and I don't, I don't want that. So we're going to go here. We're not hearing any difference yet. Don't panic. Let's go back to our Superior Drummer track up here and click on the I.O. button. All right, we want to add a send. Click on Add New Send, and we choose Verb, which is conveniently already labeled for us. Okay, now we hit our drums. You notice I have reverb, but it's on everything. I just want to isolate the snare drum. That's on a different output. Right now we got one and two, which is the whole kit. I want to choose three and four. That's just going to give me the output from the bus within the plugin. There we go. So we have reverb on our snare. I'm going to make it a little more obvious. That's it. I hope you guys got some tips from this little tutorial. Remember, recordla.com for all your recording and production needs.